Buying and selling shares necessitates knowledge of the various types of shares that a company has to offer. Shares outstanding are the proportion or portion of shares owned by the shareholders. It shows who owns the most shares and influences the most power at shareholder meetings. This quantity is also used to calculate a variety of important financial indicators. The formula for calculating outstanding shares is as follows. Outstanding shares equals issued shares. Treasury shares. Issued shares equals preferred shares plus common shares outstanding. Outstanding shares equals preferred shares plus common shares outstanding. Treasury shares. Authorized shares. The maximum number of shares that a corporation is allowed legally to issue. Outstanding shares are not the same as authorized shares. Outstanding stocks are those that are already traded on the market. Common shares. It is a security type that defines ownership in a company. Common stockholders exert control by voting on company policy and electing the company's board of directors. Preferred shares. These are investments that do not provide voting rights to shareholders but do provide some rights of ownership and pay a fixed dividend. It is generally regarded as a hybrid instrument, as it possesses both debt and equity characteristics. Preferred stock has a higher status than common stock, but it is subordinate to bonds in terms of claim, or rights to the company's assets. Treasury shares. These are shares that were previously owned by investors and have been bought back by a corporate entity. They exclude preferred shares. This is the number of shares that a company retains in treasury. Retired shares. Those shares that have been repurchased and cancelled by the company. How to calculate shares outstanding. Inspect the shareholders equity segment of the statement of financial position, balance sheet, and put the figures in the following formula to calculate the outstanding shares. Outstanding shares equals. Proffered shares plus common shares outstanding. Treasury shares. Financial analysts use the weighted average of outstanding shares to reach this figure of outstanding shares. Weighted average of outstanding shares. The number of outstanding shares in a company can fluctuate over time, sometimes dramatically. A company could issue new shares, repurchase existing shares, or convert employee stock options into shares. The weighted average incorporates changes in the number of outstanding shares over a certain period of time. For example, the company had 100,000 outstanding shares during the first six months of the reporting period, and the company's outstanding shares in the second period of six months was 150,000. Then, during the first period, the company's weighted shares outstanding equals 100,000 x 6 twelfths equals 50,000. In the second period, the company's weighted shares outstanding equals 150,000 x 6 twelfths equals 75,000. Finally, Outstanding shares equals 50,000 plus 75,000 equals 125,000.